Hello, my name is Kelty O'Connor and welcome to my channel and I'm excited for this summer because I have an exciting series coming. I'm training to be a gymnast. Along that, because of course that's quite a few months away, there's a lot of other types of workouts and things that correlate with it. And so I thought I'd just do a lot of those kind of things like handstands, body weight things, flips and stuff because I come from a sporting background. I never got to do cartwheels. I never was flexible. I never got to do any of those stuff. I just can like throw a basketball really well and like, and so one I wanted to try is aerial yoga and oh my god guys this is as fun as it looks and this is such a fun workout technically it was called circus silks I'll touch base at the end there's a difference we are going to dive in to my first ever aerial yoga and by aerial yoga I really mean circus silks but you'll see why they're kind of the same thing but not So for day number one, I went to this beginner aerial silks class. So anyone can go, it's technically their newbie class. Like this is even newbie from beginner. And so first thing we started off with is just learning how to climb up. So you pretty much like wrap your foot in this like very specific hold. And then you can see there and you kind of like loop it and it hooks and you're gonna use that as if it's like a stepping block. Now this was probably one of the hardest parts for me was just realizing like the pattern. And you have to keep doing it and doing it and doing the pattern to figure out how to wrap your foot. So there, and you kind of use it as a step and then you climb up. So it's a lot of upper body strength and just kind of like wiggling. So see there, you're kind of like holding it as your feet wiggle. So it's definitely hard on the upper body, but it also supports your weight. So this is a bit of energy. So you don't go so high, then you don't have enough energy to come down. And honestly, the first class, most of the beginning, is just climbing up and down and getting comfortable with that because you can't do any cool tricks or anything like that if you can't just get up and down. So that is just kind of hard to master. But honestly, I feel if you have any upper body strength, you'll easily be able to do this. If you don't, they'll definitely teach you and it's a great way to build your upper body strength. You just won't be able to go as high. Now, how they build it, also this, is like we just kind of learn to hang and like engage our back muscles. So they make sure you do that. And then this was a hard workout. So they made us do this thing where you like just kick your feet out my abs guys it was so humiliating like I feel like I'm pretty athletic and have good core strength no I was like wow I've never done a sit up in my life like that was so hard and she made it look so graceful and then we got to do a few cool things like this now this is one of those things that actually isn't as impressive as it looks you kind of just like hook yourself onto that little knot there and then you flip upside down warning uh, wear a proper sports bra if you're gonna do this because uh, <clears> hmm <throat> So the instructor would show us things and then we kind of go off on our own and then they would teach us like more advanced things, just kind of like fun. So we did this where you could kind of just dip to the side. And this honestly is one of those things where you just have to get your nerves, like your- Is the camera? Yeah. Sure. First class done, so that was more of a group session. And there was two other girls there that are complete beginners, and the rest had done it a few times, but it was just so much fun just like hang. Was, oh my god, it made me feel like I had no, no arm strength whatsoever. So one of the hardest parts is your grip strength. It tires so fast. Like so my back muscles are actually I have a pretty strong upper body, but I found I would just fatigue so much because of the grip strength it also took, and also just rubbing on your body. Like it was just kind of like a rug burn type thing all over. You get over that pretty similar. The best way I asked the girl I was like will it burn forever like what's it she's like honestly you just kind of get used to it because I think of it like even volleyball I used to play volleyball and in the beginning of every season you're getting spiked and this part of your skin would hurt so much you'd be bruised and red your hands would kind of start to get raw but like after a month or so your skin kind of callous like you've probably seen it one reason why I always have bad spray tan hands as well is from multiple years of basketball and volleyball and it destroying my hands. So yesterday I did the first group class and now today I'm doing a private session. We're gonna go through like the most basic things you would kind of learn and then try and do something fancy. Your question people ask. Socks. Yeah.
Yeah. Oh. Sort of loose circulation in my feet. Is that something that like you just get used to like where to put it? More? Uh, okay. So I asked Kaylee, what is the one tip you give to anyone who is doing your absolute first class? To laugh at yourself. Literally, because it's going to be so embarrassing, you're going to be so bad, it's so humbling, but it's also not like so bad that you can't do anything. Like, you'd be surprised how beginner friendly it is, but you're not going to look good the first time. Alright, so you can shake there. Yeah, and then... Yeah, this, yeah, exactly. You know, you're going to need your ankles. I'm sorry. Like, There's a difference. Aerial silks would be towards the actual like circus craft. Aerial yoga is kind of a take on it, but a simpler version because you saw the two ropes I was working on now on aerial yoga. It's called a hammock, right? And what they do is they take the silk and they tie it like this. Hammock you chill in the entire time. Excuse me. So that would be what aerial yoga is. So it's kind of these moves. It's just oh, yoga like that. No big deal. Amazing! interrupt this vlog to bring you guilty really screwed up so I'm kind of new to this whole being a youtuber thing in the sponsorship deals and I really screw up all the time I don't know if you guys remember necessaire sponsored my um, vegan video skin is your largest organ this full of vitamins and then I didn't put the link in the description <laughs> because I suck. I want to thank them, it is a good product. Yes, I screwed up. The link is in the description, just being transparent. I will get better. One day I'll be like David Dobrik and be like, coming at you, Seek Geek, uh, give my friends free cars. And if I want to do that and give friends free cars, I can't screw up like this, so. <laughs> Okay, the best part about this is this is such a good workout and like my upper body was so sore the next day It was so much fun Like I just literally felt like I was playing and that is my favorite form of fitness We forget that you can get a good workout and actually have fun. I know it's like Breaking the internet guys go with a friend way more fun when you have a friend do it But they're gonna instruct you they're gonna start you as you saw small and build your way up You're not gonna be going from the rooftops your first time because they they don't want you dying That's that's on them too And I just challenge you if you always want to try this see if there's one in whatever city you're from call a friend instead of going for brunch on Saturday Go to the class and then brunch think we just need to have more fun in our day and trust me It's going to improve your fitness your mental health everything if you can just incorporate fitness in a fun way into your life You know that's been my biggest Biggest mission over the last few years is not just working out to change my body for a specific end goal there's times and places for that and I believe we all need to have times in our lives where we really push a limit towards a goal but most importantly you should find ways to incorporate fitness that just like improves your quality of life and it just becomes a part of you because it's enjoyment so if you guys want to come on these adventures I have some exciting vlogs going so I've got a vlog series coming up that I'm so excited to show you guys I got this gymnastics training to be gymnast series coming and there's gonna be little bits and pieces throughout the way parkour stuff some rock climbing so if you want to see all that hit subscribe and join our shamble squad and hurt it might be coming wait what I don't know what I just said those a like if you guys want me to do more things like this and just kind of show you my first time attempted it. Hit a notification bell. That's the other thing I'm supposed to say. Cause so you know when I post a video. Hope you guys have a fabulous day. And if you're not having a fabulous day, say it with me. Go pet a dog. My neighbors hate me. Love you guys. Bye.